I want anybody to show me where Jesus said, be led by scripture. He wrote over and over again, my son, follow my commandments. Come down, come down. Show me where Jesus said. I didn't say Bible. But all scripture is from God. Calm down. When the new covenant starts and you start making reference to scripture, for example, which one will you refer to? Scripture is supposed to give you principles and patterns from which you then draw and use as basis for God leading you. Can scripture then be a reference to then know how then to live? Can scripture be a reference point? And the answer is blatantly no. The only reference point Jesus himself gave you is the Holy Spirit. He never gave you scripture. I want anybody to show me where Jesus said be led by scripture. Um, in Proverbs, when he wrote over and over again, my son, follow my down, commandments. Calm down, calm down. Listen to my question. Show me where Jesus said. Mm. I didn't say Bible. Jesus, be led by the scripture. But all scripture is from God. Calm down. It can't be all scripture in the sense you're referring to. Because part of the scripture you have says you should maintain the Sabbath patterns. You don't. Isn't that Old Testament? You're talking about scripture. It is scripture. Yeah, because it's all scripture. It's, it's not all scripture. Compartmentalized. <laughs> yeah, but in, in when now Christ came, he made Sabbath not just one day, but every day. That's why he broke the pattern of Sabbath, okay, hold right? On. But it's still in scripture. True, but then he came to fulfill the law, which means he came to... The law is not the scripture. Eh. <laughs> okay, help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me try and break it down a bit. Now, you have a set of books, chapters and books in the Bible that was handed over to us. And God deliberately arranged for things to be written. It is from God. And Moses brought down commandments from God and they were written. In fact, God wrote some of it himself, right? But have you asked yourself why? If you read the Bible again, like I mentioned before, you look at Exodus 19. He did not come for scripture to be written. He came for, script, for him to speak. He said scripture is inspired. Is that not what he said? By God, correct? You said it. So when he came, what did he come to do? inspire them his word is the real thing right man does not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god correct so he came to do what give them life and inspire them by his own words now they said no then moses is instructed start writing then moses starts to lay out the patterns for everybody the five books are there then the commandments and all the other things that he triggered and other men and scribes were allow, allowed to keep writing and they put it all together and you have the scripture. Correct? Mm -hmm. Now, if you can make reference to, if you are supposed to make reference to scripture, what would Abraham have done? Good question. If you're supposed to make reference to scripture, what would Moses himself have done? So when Moses wrote, God said, I'm inspiring this man and I'm speaking to him, but because they won't listen to me, write for them. It's because men are not listening to him. And let me show you proof. When this new covenant came, what did he say? We are no longer going to write on tablets of stone, correct? No longer writing on paper. All the writing is going to be where? In the heart. Now, when the new covenant starts and you start making reference to scripture, for example, which one will you refer to? The one in the book or the one in the heart? Shouldn't they be the same? No, no. Check this out. If God wants to deal with something on Ngong Road now, which scripture will you check to find it in? Because you're telling me, shouldn't it be the same thing? Okay, let's start with that. So where, where will you find the reference point for what you need to do on Ngong Road? 
Um, perhaps something that I know maybe a pastor would say, mm -hmm. or uh, someone from a theological background would mm -hmm. say, that scripture is supposed to give you principles and patterns from which you then draw and use as basis for God leading you. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So y he may not f you may not find gong road in scripture, Excellent. but there must be a so pattern. So you'll find principles, correct? Yes. To lead you. All right, let me point you to one. Only those who are led by the Spirit are sons of God. So where does that leave you with scripture? It's in the scripture to guide you. Yes. What does it tell you? How do you become a son of God? You're led by the Spirit. If you're being led by the Spirit, why are you referencing the book if he's not referencing it? Because I'm going somewhere with this. When the Spirit of God wants to refer to Scripture, He does refer to Scripture. And by Scripture, get you to understand what He's trying to do with you. Perfect. But you can't refer to Christ Scripture in isolation without Him. So the problem is not that Scripture has no relevance. But the one who makes it relevant is God. And I'll show you some more reasons. And for those who are listening, I'd like them to do me a favor. If let you read Isaiah 45, read verse 11. Read it in a number of versions, New King James, NIV, Good News, whatever you want. You'll be stunned at what you find. You know what you're going to find? Contradictory, contradictory statements. But the author knows exactly what he means. The error could have come from a translator. But it's there in your Bible. So you can't refer to scripture without referring to the author. The author is the one who explains it. And I'll give you one final clue. There are exclamations where in certain cultures that if something happens surprisingly, you will hear them say, if you translate it into English, it means, oh, I'm dying. Or some will be translated to say, oh, I'm lost. What you will hear with your ears is I'm lost. But what they mean is that something awful has just happened somewhere. Do you understand? Now, the scripture is not able to give you the intent of the heart of the, of that, of the writer. The scripture on its own. Because the Bible itself tells you that the letter does what? What gives life? The spirit. So it is the spirit at work in and through scripture that brings the life out of it. And it is at that point in time, you then understand, okay, this is what God is saying to me, and this is a reference point in scripture. So what I was trying to do is to get you to see, there is nothing, there's no excuse for disconnecting from the spirit, and then trying to get what God is doing from somewhere else. It will never work. You stay with the spirit, then he uses the scriptures as reference and uses other things as, as reference. Bearing in mind that he's not now limited to scripture written. Because the new covenant says he switches and writes here. And therefore makes your own life a living epistle. Principles are the same. You can find the same principles in scripture. But he's no longer limited to scripture. Because there are things he's doing in Nairobi he wants to explain. He will hardly use anything else but the language you understand and the things that you understand here. But the principles that are in your heart will match principles that are in the scripture. But only the spirit can quicken it for you. I do hope and pray that this was a conversation that triggered a lot of thoughts within you and God used it to speak directly to you. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to share, do feel free to get in touch with us with our contact details below. And do stay tuned for the next episode. God bless you. Bye.